Hello from Digital Heat Effects, and in this video, we're here to talk about some of the great features of the Print Optimizer software that comes with your Digital Heat Effects system. And it's a common question that we get asked. So uh, we mentioned in some other videos and, and in some information online on how you can change effects and, and how your output of your print can be changed without changing your art. And people ask, well, what are these effects? And we say, you know, you could do dots, stripes, etc. But you're curious on what that is. What does it mean? What does it actually look like? So this video is going to talk about that. And we're also going to go a little bit into how you can make all of your own custom print modes really simply. Okay. Now, this is not a training video. This is not a substitution for training. So if you've got a digital heat effect system, be sure to uh, complete your training so you can get really deep into how to uh, uh, create print modes and etc. But I'm just going to give you a little brief demonstration of how this works and what it looks like. So as you can see, I've created some print modes myself, vertical thin stripes, round dots, inverted round dots, and a dither. I'm going to show you what those look like and, uh, and where there's some uh, places in Print Optimizer where you can go ahead and, and make these changes. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just show you in the properties and we've got our DFX with dots uh, uh, mode here and you can see there's all different types of things and I'm not even going to click on these because there's so many things you can get into and really get powerful in the software. But I'm just going to look at the half tones right now and this is where we've, we, we've got the shape of our tones and here it's set to dither. Now uh, we'll show you what the dither effect means but if I click on shape, you'll notice there's round, ellipse, diamond, elliptical, inverted round, rhomboid. There's so many of them. There's, there's a long list here. And with that, you can also adjust them for each color, toner. And you can also adjust the frequency and the angle. So for example, um, if we chose lines, the frequency is just set to how frequent do the lines happen? The higher the number, the thinner the line. The more lines there are. The lower the number, the thicker the line. This is up to you. It depends on your art, what you want it to look like. Then there's the angle. So we can imagine the angle of the lines. You could have lines going straight up and down, straight left to right, and any direction, basically 360 degrees around in a circle. And you could change all of this. So when we combine all the different possible shapes you can create, all the different angles, all the different frequencies, amongst the four different colors, you can imagine the millions of possibilities that can come out of this. And we haven't even talked about uh, the other color adjustments you can make. And I'll just give you a brief preview of that too. You can adjust uh, brightness and saturation and chroma and, and the coverage, uh, the choke. You know, there's lots of things. And again, this isn't training, so it's not about really what all of this does exactly it's more of the power behind the software if you need to create something that's a little bit different that is not the typical print you've got the ability to do it so let's go ahead and take a look at what this is so the first one I'll start with my personal favorite just me um, I really like the thin stripes when doing images and I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we call the raw data this is what's gonna come out of the printer now I've got it zoomed out to a hundred percent so uh, we'll get in really close. So you can see that there's stripes actually in this image. Now we're super zoomed up, right? So just if we want to have a reference point, you know, take a look at this cat's eye right here and you can see how thick that line is. Let's bring this down to about the size of what it would be on the shirt, you know. Um, there we go. So on the monitor I'm looking at right now, um, this is pretty close to what it would print at. And uh, again, this is just a visual representation. You know, the, the printer is going to print it exactly. But you can see when you look close here, those lines are almost nothing, right? They're so little, but they make a big difference in the look and the feel of the garment. So um, it gives it a little more stretchability, a little more breathability. Um, as it's washing, there's space between the artwork for water to move through. Um, as a person is wearing it and their body is moving, you know, there's room for the art to actually move around with it because it's not a complete solid image. It feels better. So let's take a look at the round. Uh, we'll view the raw data here. Do the same thing. So here's a kind of an outward view. 
and let's get close up. So here it's imagine that when you're printing this, you're actually just printing circles and there's negative space between the circles. This is another great effect, another way to provide an image that looks really, really good, but improves the feel and your washability and everything. And then we can look at an inverted round. That's the opposite. This one, the holes are taken out of the image. And then let's actually rip this one. So when I rip it, what I actually do is I'm preparing it for print in a sense. We'll view that data. And this is the dither effect. I, I This is another favorite of mine. Let's get in really close to this. So what's cool about this one is it's, it's almost like a faux random effect. If you look here and we go to the black here on the side, you can see that there's a square and it's a clear pattern. However, it's so random in the shape that you don't pick up a pattern. Uh, some folks uh, with the stripes or maybe the round or inverted round don't like the pattern because the pattern is visual. This one, the pattern is actually not visual. It's really hard to pick up on the pattern, especially when you get that bird's eye view. Like this, so that there's you don't really see a pattern. However, we've removed a lot of white toner, a lot of color toner out of this image, which again is great for how it washes, how it feels, how it sounds, everything. It's really fantastic features. So that's just a bit. What I want to show you next is uh, we've printed these out and we've put them on uh, some shirts. We've also done the digital heat effects logo. So let's go ahead and take a look at how these effects actually look in real life.